Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and the antennas for the Crossfire or N9 or any 900mm, uh, 900MHz radio system have a problem of being rather biggish. Maybe it's fine to put something like this somewhere on the 5-inch drone or maybe on an aeroplane or even on something smaller, but when you are getting smaller it's kinda, we go to a place when the antenna is bigger than the quad. That, that's kind of like stupid and this is from time to time and different uh, different people are trying to come up with the solution to the problem like for example right now we can buy something that's called the FPV cycle mini mortal T antenna uh, right now somewhere here is the screenshot from the FPV cycle page they say in the web page of the FPV cycle that a this is easier to use, not better, but easier to use. It's not a full range antenna because you are losing a lot of range and the length of the antenna, the shortened one antenna over here is not really the length of the active element, it's only length of the antenna in total. That means that probably there is, I do not have the antenna on me, I'm, I'm sorry, but and I will not order the mini mortality because I don't I don't need it. That means that probably there is some inductance uh, over here. This is why it's shorter uh, and this is working like that. Probably probably just fine. Maybe the radiation pattern uh, is somehow strange. Maybe the VSW air is somehow high. But you know, from the description we know that probably it's working uh, on the short range just fine. And there is some magic happening, probably with the coil somewhere in the here. But, 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 the question is, can you make a mini mortal T from a regular length antenna? Because I've been contacted by one, two, actually three persons so far with the question, is it possible to shorten the full length antenna? to make it a mini mortal T at home. The idea is that maybe the mini mortal T is just uh, one eighth of the wavelength and this probably works just fine. Uh, we might lose something, but at one eighth of the wavelength we will still be getting something like the working, uh, working antenna. Um, I decided to check it. I will sacrifice this antenna, which let me connect to my VSW air meter, or we can just take a look at the label, is tuned into around 900, oh, 915 megahertz, exactly, it's the 907, it's fine. We will see if we can make this we can convert this into the mini mortal by shortening the arms and the active and the passive element. Um, also, why? Because some people suggested that they have the 915 megahertz, they are in Europe and they cannot convert this uh, 915 to 868 because you would have to make longer. But what if we make this just a shorter one? Let's find out. First, let me take my caliper and let's measure the length of the antenna right now. It's from here to here. So the active element is 70 millimeters. And the active element is 70, well, let's say 71 millimeters. The same goes for the passive element and this is half wave dipole, that means each of the arms is one fourth of the wavelength of the 915. We want to make it one eighth, that means we have to lower this. So from 71 we will have to shorter this to 35.5 like this. But let's check one right now. Right now we are resonating at around 900 something something. And let's compare what will happen if I will just make the antenna shorter in half. So we have this. Okay, let's mark somewhere here when the half of the antenna is. 
we also should shorten the passive element. This has a breaking uh, cable inside, so it's almost indestructible. Uh, this is why I will have to use uh, special pliers. Okay, cut and cut. One eighth. This is this is now. This is now one eighth of the wavelength, including the velocity factor from the casing and the the isolation on this. And let's take a look how this affected the tune. Ta -da! You see this, what I'm saying? It haven't. It's not even close to be even remotely resonant at 900 MHz. Look what's happening over here when I will increase. You see? Over here it got resonant. It's tuned to twice the frequency, to 1900 megahertz. This is why it's a, let's say, it's a proof. Yeah, okay, one, uh, okay, we are 1000, 1.6 gigahertz. This is a proof that no, you cannot convert by cutting the 900 something megahertz half a wave dipple to 1.8 one, one, uh, wavelength mini mortal T by cutting the antenna in half. Why? Because antenna that is one eighth of the wavelength doesn't really exist. It's not resonant. Almost all the energy will be right now reflected back to the transmitter. It will probably fry the transmitter and the receiver will probably get almost no reception on such an antenna. So if you were thinking about converting the regular immortal T like that, the mini mortal by cutting in half and maybe some tuning, no, it doesn't work like that. Impossible, the mini mortal inside has a coil, has an inductance that allows it to be resonant at this the, around 900 megahertz frequency, although it's shorter than it should be. But look, come on, it, there's no way we could any, in any way tune this. If, look, even there is even no like a mark of being this thing resonant anywhere. You cannot like fix it anyhow. No, this is not working. You cannot make mini mortal from the normal immortal antenna. Not gonna happen. That's all for today. Until the next one. Bye bye.